Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by my channel. As promised previously, uh, I'm gonna do a little run through of what I keep in my range bag uh, for drill days and most matches that I attend. I will take some extra stuff if I'm driving a little further away to a bigger match and keep that in my truck. But for the most part, this is a range bag I move around with. I put it in a cheap little four wheeled cart that I got off of Amazon for like 60 bucks and works really, really well for me. So let's uh, dig on in and see what we have here. This is the mid-sized, um, from Double Alpha, Competitive Edge Dynamics. Uh, I think this is the mid. They make a larger style one as well, but I went with the mid. Got a little latch here for holding on to your belt if you wanna put your belt on there. Um, I have one spare magazine in here. I actually think this magazine is broken and I need to service it. So that's why that one's hanging out in there, separate from all the other magazines. Usually these gun cases, I have my firearms in the safe right now. These gun cases I'll keep down below. I got hearing protection, just depends on what the situation is. If I'm at an indoor range or it's really loud or sometimes if I'm shooting with guys that are all shooting open guns and uh, it's really, really loud, I like to kind of tune everything out. So I actually do, I turn my muffs off when I, I wear them on. These are the uh, HP Liberator 2.0s from Safari Land. Uh, I do wear them on and then I will turn them off at the line just because I don't want to hear any external extraction, distractions or anything like that when I'm at the line and I'm going to shoot. So I just will, will pop them off right when I, when I get the make ready and that way I can, uh, you know, s just focus on my game plan and shoot it and not have to hear anything, you know, from the back, you know, background noise, etc. So HP Liberator, HP 2.0s, um, I guess on the line of hearing protection we'll look over here um back up little 3m skull screws you never know when you might you know need that uh these are what i normally shoot with outside uh these are a phenomenal little kit made by sound gear and you gotta put put batteries in them they're very small but that's 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 basically what you're looking at right there that little piece gets a little battery and it goes in, gives you like 23 decibels of reduction. It's a great kit, they're expensive, but they're very, very comfortable to wear. And you don't have to wear these big sweaty muffs when you know it's 100 plus degrees out. Can, can make a huge advantage for you. And then I just got another backup pair of plugs. These are uh, Sonic Defenders, which they're, the, they're a great plug. I mean, they have a military contract and everybody seems to like those. Inside I have magazine brush. Can never go wrong. Always have that. When I usually clean mags, most any time they hit the ground, I got a set of pacers for when I'm out at the range and not at a match uh, doing practice on my own. I either use a Sharpie or use that. The, I will argue the most important tool for a training regiment for anything is the added stress of a timer. This is the Pack Club Timer 3, I believe. 100 bucks or so, great investment. Put some stress on you. When that buzzer goes off, it changes a lot, uh, changes a lot in your head and it helps get you, get you timed up. Uh, glasses wise, this is one thing I kind of need to approve. I don't know the exact model of these, but I have been wearing these. These are Oakley M-Frame Alphas. Uh, one thing to remember is that you should have shooting glasses. These are Z87.1 ballistic. They'll tell you they're not ballistic and they're not stopping a, like a round fired at you, but they are rated to stop like a ricochet or a piece of you know, a piece of frag for the most part within reason. And I've, you know, when you, if there's steel and stuff, their frag, frag flies around at the range. So I've had really good luck with these in this kind of like light purple. I found they've been very, very good on, you know, uh, all sorts of different kinds of lighting conditions and days, depending on whether you got grassy backgrounds, dirt backgrounds, uh, et cetera. I do also carry another pair. These are a little thinner. They're great on a little bit hotter day. They don't, they don't seem to, um, don't seem to uh, get as much like sweat and fog on them and moisture. Uh, I got a dark tinted lens and I got a yellow lens for low light situations. These are half jackets and they're, you know, you can change the lens real easy on them. So this is a cool pair too. If you see me around, I wear them kind of interchangeably. No real rhyme or reason, just whatever's feeling right on the day. Uh, in the bottom here, I keep a full double alpha range kit that they have. I got all sorts of parts, tools, uh, punches, kits, 
cleaning stuff, a little mat. If I've got to clean or do something on my tailgate. This is a great little kit from Double Elf. I got all, I got a little bit of everything for cleaning, maintenance, uh, just whatever you could need as far as from a, from a cleaning or pretty much servicing standpoint. I do carry some other tools with me uh, when I go to, especially when I go to a larger like major match because you just never know when you might need something. So that's what the top pretty much looks like. If we go down to the next front pouch here, I got all sorts of different tools. Paint stick, uh, Sharpie, you can never go wrong having a Sharpie. Uh, liquid white gold, you can buy it at REI. Um, I know other people like the pestle stuff. I found that this stuff is great, works all day for me. I never have to usually reapply it, sometimes a little bit but like 15 bucks at REI lasts you a long time. Works great. Uh, extra chamber flags, all sorts of different tools. Speaking of uh, magnets from my other video, there's a double alpha magnet that I don't use. Batteries, a bunch of different tools. Just kind of, this is like my miscellaneous dump container where I keep everything that I might need. On the side over here, I pretty much this I just keep dry towels and I do have a spare set of Torx tools in there, but I pretty much keep some dry rags. Another thing, if you don't use a, use a optics cover, you can actually make a really nice optics cover out of like an old scope, neoprene scope cover from, this is from Leopold, very cheap, over the butt end of the gun and then just wrap, wrap it down over the front and it actually works perfect. Uh, if you need, if you need a, you know, a, you know, a small basic, rain cover for your for your optics so you're not pulling it out of its holster with if it's pouring down rain it sucks no matter what there's nothing you're going to do right but that's pretty much what we have going on there in here i got all sorts of batteries i got backup bug like bug deep wipes uh, i have an, another extra cat, cat tourniquet which usually i have my my go bag with me uh like a 511 rush bag so and that's got a full you know i have a full pretty extensive medical kit in there i do have one extra tourniquet in here just you can never have too many of that kind of stuff around um over here on this side i keep a cobalt tool kit that's very small it has all of the let me flip it over the right way so it doesn't fall everywhere all sorts of different small little bits that are great for optics and making adjustments for you know different different needs on different firearms like I said, I carry a full tool kit with me uh, when I go to a match in my truck that I don't necessarily need in the bag. This is just another gun bag. I usually use two of them. And then lastly, I keep a you know, competitive edge dynamics magazine pouch. And what I have here along with that other one is I basically have practice magazines and these are kind of my beaters. These are Terran tacticals. I've been using these for a while. Um, I do all my training with these and then I have uh, like match magazines that I would just run just run during the match. These are the 17 round SIG tube with the plus five slash six Henning group uh, base with it'll make it a plus six if you run the grams follower in spring. So not cheap. I uh, through Ben Stoger, you're a little over a hundred bucks, I think, to kit this, but it makes your 320 23 rounds in the magazine one in the chamber which gives you a little bit of an advantage i mean it's it's one extra round if you barney it up it's i guess it's just uh personal preference and how much it's worth but i like having two sets of magazines i run these in matches run these in drills just to keep these fresh and uh i you know i know and and confident and trusting that they're going to work for me so that's kind of what i do on a daily basis with my range bag uh other than that you know eh, add a firearm add some ammo and uh Get out there and practice. So thanks for stopping by uh, and have a good day, everyone. See ya.